This factory produces more than $20 million worth of goods every year. It is not found in one of Israel's sprawling industrial parks, rather 100 kilometers north of Tel Aviv, turn left off the main highway to the rural kibbutz community of En HaShafet. While kibbutzim started out as purely socialist communes, today they share much in common with other capitalist enterprises. And though they began as farming communities, today only 15 percent of members work in agriculture. Kibbutzim have come to the top third percentile of, of income in the, in the country, but it's come through hard work and it's come through difficult times and kibbutzim have found for themselves what's conducive to that each and every kibbutz. Uh, we took a long time in finding what would be the best type of thing for our factories and we suffered a lot for that in the course of the time. It, eventually we found it, we hit the right thing and we're doing it correctly. Today there are more than 250 kibbutzim in Israel. During the last decade, many were not able to maintain the traditional communal way of life and took the decision to privatize. Members in those kibbutzim complained that the workload and responsibilities of the community were not shared out equally and fairly. And today it's very clear that if the kibbutz will not be able to be the best capitalistic organization in the capitalistic world, it will not be able to hold the socialist environment inside. Therefore. All our efforts are made very strongly uh, towards gaining as much as we can from each human being uh, for the income for everybody. We know that if we, if we won't be able to get the best effort for, from everybody, we will not be able to maintain the kibbutz. En HaShofet prides itself as still being a kibbutz in the true sense of the word. And even so, in the dining hall, a payment system has been introduced. Although many members were against this development, they now agree there's less waste and more money for other projects. I always believed in the kibbutz, and I still believe in the kibbutz. And I hope it still will be a kibbutz. It's a different kibbutz, and it's changing. But it's a good change, because uh, a community that doesn't change grows old. 92-year-old Bella Wilfand is a founding member of En HaShofet, which was settled in 1937 by pioneers from Poland and North America. The kibbutz was named in honor of U.S. Supreme Court Justice Louis Brandeis, then a notable leader of American jury. Archivist Ofra Brill says there is no present if the past is not remembered. And that's why she's so pedantic about saving every piece of information concerning life at Ein HaShofet. While the bicycle remains the main mode of transport in the kibbutz, today with a fleet of over 120 vehicles, there's no problem to hop into town for a pizza whenever the heart desires. All kibbutzim have changed outwardly over the years, but kibbutz members at Ein HaShofet still remain fiercely idealistic. They pride themselves with their state-of-the-art old-age home where some of the founding members reside. We are still strong believers in mutual responsibility. And we've seen that today. We take care of our older generation just as we'll take care of our younger generation. There are three basic things that the kibbutz has believed in and hasn't changed that there are three tenets of life that are important to the communal lifestyle. One is health, the other is education, and third is culture. Children who grew up on the kibbutz are no longer automatically accepted as members. And while some make the effort to continue their parents' way of life, many leave the nest. Oh, my kids, that's another story. That's a difficult question. My kids at a certain point are probably going to find their way to the United States for a while. The last two years has seen the first rise in kibbutz population. Today, the talk of Ena Shofet is the completion of new houses for people who want to join the community. The Ulpan, where new immigrants learn Hebrew, has also proven to be a source of recruitment for the kibbutz. All my life I, I lived in a big city. and. Uh, I never thought to stay here, but uh, when um, 
After 10 months, I uh, realized that this is a really great uh, place. This is such a unique society that you have to always choose day by day to want to be a part of it. And I hope that whoever lives here keeps on asking himself if it's the right place for him. Despite the lean years, kibbutz members at Ein HaShofet believe the kibbutz is going from strength to strength and will continue to contribute to Israeli society for years to come. For IBA News, this is Viva Press.